them so much I'm so excited to be here and like Austin is my angel I love him so much he like means everything to me and they have like impacted my life because I met my best friends through here and like if without them being like my friends I don't know where I would be in my life but then also with their music I don't know where I would be so I love them and everything they brought to me so it is I don't know what day it is, but it's show number four. We've been here since like 3.30, 4. We brought our pool floaties. Time is going pretty fast, so that's cool. I'm really excited for the show. Ever since like I first heard friends that told me about water parks like earlier this year, late last year, and I was like, okay, I'll check them out. And I listened, I think Royal was the first one I listened to, and I was like, shit, this is good. And I listened to like the rest of it. And it gave me a uh, like good pop punk, like, older music vibes that I like really really like got down with and it just made me think it made me really happy and like inspired because like as someone who like works in the music scene when you see bands that are out there making stuff that is really worth it and really coming from the heart and passionate it's like good music it just makes you really excited to like see where the future of like the art goes so that was like the first thing I ever told Parks when I met them and just like seeing them night after night on this tour has been incredible. I'm here in Pomona with all these lovely people. Hi. My friend Lexi surprised me with VIP tickets to Parks for my birthday. She's right there. I'm eating my Choco Bowl. I love her. But yeah, and it's going to be a sick show because Parks has so much energy when they play even though I've never seen a set. Oh yeah, this is my first show. Huh. But I think it's going to be lit. i got here at 2 in the morning, been freezing my fucking ass off. <laughs> I said I would never camp out for another beep, band, beep. but here I am. Because I hate to admit, no, I'm not going to She <laughs> loves auto. <laughs> I made this. I actually made another one, but the first one got ruined. So I spent like 14 hours making basically both of them. <laughs> so here it is. The final product. Well, this They're one, big. I made it with my tears. You can see them right here. They're purple. <laughs> the four clovers are, no, the clovers are made out of glitter. Like yeah. They're four lucky clovers. They're really good at what they do and they really love what they do. And like, they're amazing artists. So shout out to them. And I've met so many amazing friends through them, like Yixing <laughs> and Hannah and just following this tour has been such a crazy adventure. Not only because I get to see all these shows, but like, I get to like, grow professionally I am I shot my first I photographed my first show on the entertainment tour I'm like I'm never gonna forget that I'm like I'm doing interviews and just talking I'm really grateful for parks they're climbing up it's like one of my bands so back in January I had like zero friends because like everybody hated me and it was really bad like everybody I knew around me was like toxic and then I found water parks and then I met new friends with them and they were less toxic and they made me happier but then water parks in general just make me happy and they're, they're always making me smile no matter what, like even on bad days. You're making me laugh! <laughs> That's the I'm here to see water parks and I don't know how but they found me and um, parks has influenced me personally by inspiring me to do what I love which is like write music and stuff and I've also met like hundreds of friends through them and through online and in real life, so it's really benefited me as a person. Back in October, we went to San Jose to see Five Sauce, and we were stuck together for a week, and she basically forced me to like the band. I was like, no, I don't want to get into them, and she was like, look, and then I was happened. playing stupid for you, because I was like, we'll start from Double Dare, you know? And then she's like, skips, and I was like, how dare you? And I was playing Ashton's playlist on Spotify, and he has water parks on it too, and I was like, we're not skipping it this time. He stands. We all do. Yeah, because like the playlist was like just going and I heard one song and I was like, hey, this is pretty good. I don't remember what song it was. But she was like, it's water park. Oh, it was like, blonde. Oh. Started with one song leading into another and then another and then the interviews. And, and then, then the just drummer. Spiraled. My favorite song from entertainment is Rare. She is my baby and 
uh, well, the first time I heard her live, I like cried, and that song means so much to me, and especially the line Callie gazes because it's like from where I'm from, and I love. I love that so much and when entertainment dies I'm going to die a slow death and I will miss her. The first song that I like fell in love with by Parks was Lucky People and then I went through like a really really strong not warriors phase where I would like listen to that for like 10 hours on end and then it was like rare we need to talk but like as of the first three songs on the set list are my current favorites because like the energy is like blonde 11 11 rare and it's just like Oh, they're so good. I can't pick. Like currently it's those three back to back. <laughs> My favorite song off entertainment is 1111 because like it's so special and cute and like makes my heart ooh woo. My overall favorite song is Dizzy. She's my girl. She's my everything. Fucking love her. She's my B. And I'm gonna see her tonight and I'm gonna pop off. Number one Dizzy stand here. I met Austin in a five oh, that show. Was Thing too. He was sitting right behind us, so we basically went to the concert together. But you know what's funny is because like we were enjoying the concert, and Diana at one point she told me like, "Oh my God, look, the stadium was like lit up with lights." And I turned around, and Austin was right behind me, and I was like, "It's Austin from Water Parks." I wasn't a fan at the time, but I knew she was. And then she was like, "Yeah, I know," and I was like, "Oh, okay." She's like, "Not. Nah, she's okay." I thought with she it. was talking about the lights. I don't even know. I mean, the they song, both shine bright, right? Yeah, after the song finished, she like freaked the fuck out. She was like, oh my god, I fucking love you! And I was like, oh shit. And then she was like, wait, I'm not crazy! And she asked him for a hug, and he was like the sweetest, like, I swear, that was the most beautiful interaction I'd ever witnessed. It's an angel. We're in line at Pomona, and we have VIP, and my sister drew this. She's about to give it to them. Hi, it's Dwayne. Um, entertainment tour has been amazing. Uh, I love you, Austin, and I like everybody that likes me back. <laughs> and yeah. Let's make some plans for time to waste. Your Cali gaze is darkness thin and dripping sweetness hidden in my face. Cause we're not 17, but sure my teenage dream. If there's a chance we'll sink, then I don't even wanna. Ishing, who's uh, actually filming me right now. Uh, we met in the line at the Regent Theater a year ago, almost to, well, a little past a year ago, November night, and I met Mex Lexi online. We met on Twitter, and not even a week later, we had already decided that we were gonna follow the last seven dates of the water park tour. It started out where it was only gonna be three, then we ended up with seven. And it's been pretty wild so far. Um, we've been going hard almost every night, losing our voices and just having fun and being together and it's just so amazing how music can bring people together. So I work for a chain coffee shop and um, there's this program within it where you can become like a master of coffee and it actually got discontinued in my region so I decided to come do it like kind of create my own where I do essentially the same steps required to become one without the official title but I decided to like add personal like characteristics towards people as well so like character profiles it took about six months of research within tastings and everything in between and hopefully they really like it because it's my form of art and I wanted to put the amount of time and effort into my art as like maybe even as a fraction of as they put into their art for all of us as fans. This is the artwork that Lexi and Yixing did. This man ate my son. So I flew from Spokane, Washington. Not a lot of people know what Spokane, Washington is. Uh, it's a little town up in Eastern Washington, about four hours from Seattle. 
and I flew 1,400 miles to be here for water parks. Their song, Not Warriors, uh, I was felt very connected to in the beginning. Uh, my mom went through a lot of hard times with kidney and liver failure, and she actually said the lyrics to me, but hey, for what it's worth, I think you saved my life. So now that she is gone, it means even a lot more to me and so tonight during this song I'm probably gonna be bawling my eyes out. This is my sixth water park show, and I'm gonna be going tomorrow as well. And my favorite song off of entertainment is probably not Warriors because the first time I ever crowd surfed was to that song at Warp Tour. Sleep Alone's a good one. Like the there's, uh, fuck, I think it's like a bass riff like in the second part of the chorus, and it's so good. Super excited for them and excited to go see it, especially with VIP. Like, that's such a cool experience. So, thanks to them for offering that, and like, thanks to everyone for being chill enough to let them offer that. Super cool. I can't wait for it to get started, and I may cry a little bit. I've never been to Houston before. I flew here for them specifically. My flight landed at 5 45, just about p.m. yesterday. I'm first in the whole line of everything, and it's insane. This show is is important for a whole lot of reasons to me, um, and so is this band. I'm meeting the person today, I'm meeting a best friend of mine that has been my best friend for like five years now, um, and they're actually the person that got me into water parks and is the reason that I'm even here at all right now. So having that kind of connection is really amazing, and water parks came into my life at a really important time. I went through a tough breakup after a three-year relationship, and. Uh, and having these songs that seem to be about exactly what I was going through is like this very cathartic, you know, I didn't feel like I was the only one going through it. And it was really helpful to me in my sort of getting through that and working through that. Today we're at the Warehouse Live and it's really special because the parks like started here. I've been following the last seven tour dates with my friends Lexi and Hannah. And because of water parks, I've met like the best friends ever and I'm so grateful for them. Water Parks like has really made like such a huge impact on my life and they inspire me every day. Just like seeing them makes me smile and they just make me the happiest. Hi, Hi we're here at the Warehouse. 
Warehouse Live Show where water parks first started. This is my second time seeing them. Her this is first. My first. Time. Um, I saw them at Warp Tour this year. It was like the most fun ever. I crowd surfed during Stupid for You and slipped and fell, and that was fun. Austin and Jeff laughed at me. Um, they're like the best fucking band ever. I love them so much. I got into them by, I saw a tweet from, I um, can't remember who I saw, but I was like, this band looks interesting. Got into them, and now they're one of my favorite bands. And that's okay. how that happens. So um, I've been a Dallin fan ever since he was in Panic, and I was super duper happy that he was doing his own band. And I didn't hear Choke until she made me listen to Choke, and it really freaked me out the first time because I was like, oh my gosh, it's about dying. It's the same to Brendan. And then, <laughs> and then I saw that they were on the tour. She told me about the tour, and I didn't I made know her anything about water parks at all. I made her and listen then I, to them. And then I listened to them on Spotify for a really long time. And then I bought my tickets, and now we're here together, and it's a lot of fun. I've seen water parks about just one time, and that was at Warp Tour. I'm actually very excited to come here because it's like a hometown show for them and I actually started listening to them this the beginning of this year. They helped me out through a breakup, which is why I'm really excited to hear We Need to Talk because it's one of my favorite songs and it helped me so much and I'm very, very excited to be here. I love the boys. They're so funny. They're so energetic. Having these words and these songs that can say the things that I'm feeling when I'm not able to has has been a very helpful experience and and I've made so many friends through this band that I've met today that I that I've met on the internet that you know I this is the second state that I've never been to that I traveled to to see water parks I'm very thankful for them and I'm very thankful for their words and and the lessons that they've taught me and the lessons that they teach everybody else. I'm just really, really happy that I'm here today. One of my favorite songs is definitely Dizzy. I don't know why, but it makes me cry like almost every time I hear it. So I am so beyond excited to not only hear it live, but to get to scream it back. Um, that and just to hear like all of these songs that I've been jamming to for so long, especially like new stuff that's come out. Like even though entertainment is, it still feels new even though it's starting to get old. Um, in age, not in use, but to get to hear all of this and get to scream it back, I'm so beyond excited. You know it's gonna end, but I just know that the songs are there forever. That's what I tell everyone whenever they mention, oh, the band's gonna end or something like that. Even if it ends, the songs are always gonna be there. Even if the era ends, you can still listen to it. And new, a new era will come, new music, and it will be great like this. So that's what, I'm, I'm just very excited for music. I'm excited to hear Dizzy. I'm fucking excited to hear Dizzy. Um, Royal's just my favorite song, so I'm excited to hear that. I don't know, I'm excited about all of it. I'm excited to throw all of those during Tantrum and be the guy that starts the pit. Wanted this shit to sell out, so I bought four tickets. Uh, only needed one, so the boys are getting frame tickets as gifts. Proud of the boys, very happy for them. I hope they are as excited as I am. It's your boy, and no, I'm just kidding. Hi, it's Dwayne. Uh, we're in the beautiful place of Houston, Texas, where they birthed uh, legends like Beyonce and Austin Knight, uh, and also Dwayne. Uh, I'm not a legend, though, but uh, tonight's going to be awesome, man. Yeah. Favorite thing about me, uh, my shoes. Yeah. Uh, favorite thing about Jeff, um, he's sweet, but he's also tall. Um, now he's like, Can't be both. Tall. I mean, like, they have to die, but uh, he gets a pass. Um, everything about Austin is that he's very pretty. Oh. I say it every show and I'll say it tonight. And everything about Jeff is he is really awesome, really nice, and he always watches my set and like kind of makes me feel special a little bit. Everything about myself is, uh, hmm. You're fabulous. I like my music. Uh, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Favorite thing about me is <laughs> I'm tall. <laughs> yeah. Favorite thing about Austin is he's very talented. Oh. And smart. Favorite no. thing about Dwayne is every single time he walks into the room, he just, he just brings this like, yeah. like happiness. He's the sunshine. Everybody says what I think about Dwayne about other people when they die. <laughs> you know oh my God. Like, they light up the room. Like, but Dwayne really does. <laughs> Their smile can make everything better. Like, but Dwayne Drew does. Oh, 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 that's what's up. Our whole like theme of this interview is an inspiration kind of. Yeah. So I would like to know your onstage persona. Excuse me, sir. Austin? This is not your interview. You should leave. <laughs> I don't even know you, man. 
Oh You've God. never even met. Yeah, Who is I that? Like, pretty cool, but <laughs> we might meet tonight. I don't know. Maybe. I really so. yeah. It's the last day, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what I'm saying is, this video is a special shit for us. Like, We're so proud. We're proud. We're proud. <laughs> and what's cool as shit is tangible progress. that I made through your band and putting on a great show, so I want to give you all my money. I tell you guys this all the time, but I'm gonna say it again even though I already said it. You guys make me remember the good stuff that's in the scene. I'm so happy to see that there's still good shit being made and I will cover it and I will support it until the end. I'm gonna sue you for emotional harassment, okay? <laughs> Thank you for writing music and like doing shit like that. And then Jeff, thanks for giving me the best hugs. Like. I always feel safe with your hugs. Arnold, oh, no, thanks for being an amazing drummer. You're like the best drummer I know. Like, for real. Hi, water parks. I love you and I'm sorry I eat paper. Thanks for all the great times. Like, we've had such a blast following this tour. Like, even though we like, have only eaten one meal a day and like, we barely slept, it's still like, it's all been worth it because we've been having so much fun and it's just so much quality time together and it just makes me so happy to see you guys every single time we get in line for VIP. I just still get a little anxious, but once I see you guys, it just kind of goes away and that really, really means something to me. You guys probably know this, but I have traveled on... <laughs> traveled on... 
<laughs> Do you not want me to say that? So I have traveled over 10,000 miles for you guys this year. Uh, I went to Salt Lake City for a warp tour and saw you guys at Warp Tour. And then I traveled to Orlando, Florida from Little Spokane, Washington just to see you guys in Orlando. So <laughs> I've traveled a lot. And then here to Tucson. Thanks for everything. Uh, thanks for making like great music, making people happy, having like some sort of escape for people that need that when they can't in their real life and stuff. Uh, thank you for being like a huge part of my life and like being my favorite band and bringing one of our group chats together. 